welcome to Berlin, where I'm with Intercepting Pattern. Uh, for beginning, guys, could you tell me what exactly and who is Intercepting Pattern? So basically, it's the two of us, uh, Martha and me, Clemens. Uh, and we started this whole project a couple of years ago, as mainly as a side project. And the other musicians that joined in are sort of session members, some closer, some a little bit, yeah, not so close to the project. But yeah, like the core of the band is the two of us. Yeah, the, the session music, uh, 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 the session musicians are friends of us. We didn't just pick them. Yeah, it's not like hired musicians we don't know, but yeah, yeah but people they, uh, from the scene we know and yeah. who got involved with the project. Yeah, you said you have been uh, on this project for some years already now. So how yeah. did it all get started and uh, what kind of music do you play? Uh, we both uh, used to be together in the same band, Sylvia uh, Tomor, uh, before. And um, we kind of, uh, yeah, we did music. Sylvia well, Tomor is an old band from from the uh, now middle 2000s, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, we haven't yeah. both not been founding yeah, members of that band, but we met in that band. After the, uh, that, and, uh, and uh, but Sereb um kind of just stopped for a while, um, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, um, because, you know, stuff, uh, lots of fathers in the band today, <laughs> Life <laughs> nowadays, <laughs> and then it's kind of, Kind of got on hold, and uh, but we just tried wanted to continue music, and we took like the chance to uh, try out something we didn't ever do before, which would be uh, going a little bit into the jazzy improvisational direction with the music. Our band before that was kind of technical, so you know, you just just have to learn the stuff over and over again. Not don't have much room to just. Explore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just have your stuff, and uh, mm. you, you, then you have to just get try to get it as tight as possible. So that's the thing with that band before. And what we then wanted to do was like get a little bit more freedom and uh, try to uh, yeah you know get a little bit of improvisation and stuff. So then then this idea came up with a new project, basically, and it's. Also a little bit different because it's uh, yeah it has a more rhythmical aspect you know a little bit of, um, no, a little bit much of that sugar influence is there and uh, where you but you still have uh, you have your parts with, that are written out where you know exactly what you're doing and then you have lots of parts where you know, just have space like chord changes where more from the fusion jazz uh, style. Uh, where you just can do what, whatever you like. So that was a new thing for us. Okay, um, well, metal music seems to be able to bend any which way possible. So uh, how, how did you like come to the fusion of jazz and metal and how, uh, how easy or difficult it is to you to make this music? I guess um, it's difficult because um, I don't have a chess background at all. Like I've been a metal kid all my life, so to speak, and like throwing the term chess into it is sometimes a bit weird because I wouldn't think that a real chess listener would even consider us chess. It's more like uh, the term chess yeah. is thrown into metal as soon as there are some more ch how many changes and stuff that's unused or unusual to metal, let's say. And I guess that because we played in rather technical tech dev bands and all that stuff before, you have that interest in, yeah, I'd say challenging, demanding music, and you sort of fall into chess like that. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's, I think, two sides uh, in metal. One is uh, where you, you have your straight thing, whereas and it's kind of a little bit the band that we had, we were in before, where you um, just try and get it as good as possible. It's just almost the same. And then the, the thing is more to be 
more more precise, more yeah, more pushing it faster, yeah, more, faster. more notes in. Yeah, and then few also, time. <laughs> also in metal, not so much, but still uh, quite often where you have more the jammy and just more the freedom kind of often with drummers you you hear that you, that they change the uh, not they they don't do something very different but they but you know they always play when when they when you hear them a lot of times live or something when they they do another fill or all that stuff so you you have that space but it's not often very much explored so on that that is what what we we're trying trying to do and then there is some some albums or some uh, project that did that before us of course and we, we thought yeah we we just always wanted to do that but never had it had the the right time. Right. and then there's a lot of um from the fusion or jazzy jazz side which i wouldn't say we are jazz at all but uh what well, it's, it's a little bit more that the that, approach right yeah the, yep. the approach yeah it, and and of course the drumming and all that stuff is, it, it drives from from jazz or from jazz fusion especially um and then i want to say is that in the fusion there's also that t a tendency to get a little bit more aggressive and so like from the fusion side there's a little bit tendency to to the metal i know yeah there are a few fusion yeah. bands that yeah yeah so to the metal mindset and then there's also from the metal side some uh, you know like Dillinger escape plan or something it's like a band where i always liked from the beginning mm -hmm. which also had that jazzy influence not, not it's not jazz but it's more that you can do what what you like so and that's then, basically that yeah, yeah just making music and do what you like with it yeah right Okay, let's go to the debut album, The Encounter, that came out uh, earlier this year. So if I understood correctly, that was in the making for uh, multiple years. Yeah. So how was the creative process for this album? At first we just started talking about ideas and what we wanted to do with it. And with the time, the concept evolved to make it like one composition with certain ideas in there and then we i'd say we had those blank spaces that yeah. we had to fill somehow and yeah the main credit to the songwriting goes to Marta. yeah it, it, it's not that so much uh, it's not really a written out song so it's, it's more i have a collection of riffs and i have a collection of chord changes so and then i put them together that they just uh, build uh, a good whole, so, so to speak. But uh, if you, I could, I could show you like the, or, uh, um, the there the, are some basic drafts, so yeah, to say. Yeah, it's, it's just like there's 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 this written down structure, but it's very thin. So there's almost nothing to it, but the chord changes and the and the rhythms, rhythms and then and maybe just a click track or yeah. something like that. Yeah, that's that's right. And then so we just hit the studio with with Lille who's uh, we, we thought about some other drummers too but Lille is like a long time friend of us and always had we always had the same uh, you know kind of soft spot for for that jazzy stuff fusion stuff so it was kind of obvious that we wanted to ask him and and then he came up with a lot of ideas that shaped that song structure again so like, uh, the two and of them would um, jam the stuff uh, like the basic ideas um, Lille yeah. would learn and yeah mostly the two of you would mm -hmm. um, jam them together so certain ideas and after six months I guess uh, Lille went to the studio and some parts of course he had in mind already what he wanted to do and some parts he still improvised in the studio setting yeah. and those were like the first tracks that we would use to build the rest upon that yeah yeah it was kind of when we hit the studio it was it was a little bit uh i know afraid because we, we jammed that stuff a lot of times but he, he always did something completely different every time so, <laughs> yeah we wouldn't even know what was, was, was right. Right. <laughs> I, I was i was trying to get him into a certain direction in certain uh, 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 spots 
but give him a lot of space when when the chord changes came. So, um, but when we hit the studio, there was there was a lot of uh, parts where we just didn't have something really where, where where I said yeah that's cool and he said that's cool and, and he was just just like doing it and he did it really really great so so in the end it it was uh, it, it kind of was cool that we didn't know what what what's coming so yeah. we, we, we we went to the studio and then uh, we didn't know what we would get back from him so yeah. but we, so some course, some parts you would even already have an idea in mind and yeah. then the drums would be yeah. something completely yeah. different yeah. and <laughs> your idea wouldn't work out on those drums yeah. so we had to adjust our playing to that again too right? yeah sure yeah, yeah. yeah and, and when we recorded we, we could of course say okay let's do it a little bit more like this and more mm -hmm. like that but but it was really especially from the drawings was was really a lot of improvisation there so and that's what I what we really wanted. So yeah, that's so and that's also the the I think in the end uh, it's also audible that there's that there that not so like not so much preparation became uh, that was was it was there beforehand because it still feels really you know kind of it's natural also also. Yeah. also and that's some, something that you I don't know if you can do that so that that what the sound really. From like from the heart, so so to speak, so so something really, just from that moment, that's just there in that moment. That and that's something I, I think that uh, there are a lot of parts in that album I really like the most. Kind of where where you know that's just the uh, doing what what he does. So that's that's really cool. We could catch that. <laughs> 